some of the most promising U.S. companies are being hatched in so-called business incubators. Many are technology companies with as little as two employees or as many as 22. Now, while incubators are finding it easier to start new ventures, growing them is becoming more of an adventure. Diane Esterbrook explains. This company is, uh, is very interesting. It's a company called Lab 42. Nick Rosa oversees his business incubator, from, uh, Sandbox Industries, a like a proud father. The Chicago firm housed in a converted loft launches fledgling businesses, and many of their owners sit side by side running their operations. Helly Stubbe is the CEO of BookYap, an internet search tool for books. Currently, um, it's available at bookyap.com. We're also working on an iPad app, iPhone app, and eventually a Kindle application. Rosa started launching companies with Sandbox five years ago, and he says business is booming. What we're finding is it costs a lot less now to start a company. And so what we were once able to do with two or three or four million dollars, we could probably do with two or three or four hundred thousand um, dollars, mostly because we're focusing on internet companies and startups in that space. Sandbox isn't the only one doing more with less. In the first half of this year, the Center for Venture Research says angel investors funded more new companies than during the same period last year, and they did it with less money. Terry Howerton also launches businesses and says many of the firms at his incubator, TechNexus, need less seed money because they've put together smarter business plans. The emphasis is on getting a return, getting customers and making a valuable business, not on how much venture capital can we put at play. While it may be cheaper getting a new business off the ground, growing it is more challenging in this economy. Marble sells so-called brain games for adults and kids. The two-year-old retailer has eight stores in Illinois and Minnesota. CEO Lindsay Gaskins runs the business from Sandbox. She'd like to tap the venture capital market for three to five million dollars to open more stores next year, but she's not sure she'll get it. I think the venture markets have been uh, kind of contained and haven't been opened up for the last couple of years. Raman Chada heads the Coleman Entrepreneurship Program at Chicago's DePaul University. He says increasingly now venture capitalists won't pony up a lot of money unless they get a large equity stake in a company. The investors um, therefore are challenged because they might have a, a terrific uh, company that has great promise but if the deal doesn't make sense, doesn't uh, meet the terms that the uh, investors need in order to get a healthy return on their investment, then it may not happen. Incubators think investors will fund new companies as long as they have good management and a proven track record. Diane Esterbrook, Nightly Business Report, Chicago.